Morning, quick off update. She's looking good. Weirdly, I'm on the top lambs again. We're just gonna move them over quickly. This is where the tups have eaten. This is where the tups haven't. This wheat is crazy forward, look at it. It's like 10 inches high, it's ridiculous. If you graze it properly, then you don't. The, the farmer doesn't have to use what's called a growth regulator or a spray to get rid of all the disease. So you see the yellow, these leaves are diseased and if they don't spray this off, then their yields will be down because the plant's carrying a lot of disease. But in order to do away with the sprays completely, they would have to eat all of these leaves here. And uh, I don't think the chap who's farming this has got the, um, I don't think he's brave enough to do that because he's worried about his wheat crop. Rightly so, they're not his sheep, it's only me gaining out of it. So he would rather put a fungicide on this than push it too hard. So in all fairness, he did say to me, look, if you want to prove a point and graze this as tight as you want, then do so. But I think he's still going to bottle it at the last minute. So what I've said is, look, you won't have to use a growth regulator on that. Let us do one more section. So we're going to do the next third. Let us graze that. Give us 10 more days on it because I'm going to take them to... Our markets are on a Tuesday and Wednesday, so give me until not this Tuesday, come in the one after. If you'll let me do that, then I can take and run straight into market and then not aggro. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. So, sweet. So I'm just going to fence that section off now, move them over there. And I've got to bring some more ewes home. Oh, we're nearly at the end. They're nearly all home. And then I've got to bring some cattle home because on top of all the sheep stuff we're doing, which, by the way, is too much for me. We decided to sell some cattle right in the middle of it because I really needed the extra work. Price is good, so we're going to take it. There's a lot of faffing around getting cattle ready for market. So, 10 days more. Just doing a really scientific measurement here. They've had two weeks on there, and we've got 10 days, so... There. About here. About here? I think it's a bit closer to me, it Do you reckon? I'm going to say here. Final decision. But change my mind I reckon here. The old land market's a bit up and down at the minute. No one thinks that the land price is going to reach crazy heights. It's just a case of being lucky really. He's picking a decent week and cashing them in. But I want to sell them finished, especially lambs like this. They've got to go finished so 10 days hopefully do it. We've got a corner post so uh, a bit of a bodge going on. Ah, oh, had a bit of a mic muff malfunction. <laughs> now I've got to try and convince them to come into here, which is probably harder than you think, because they're really keen on that electric. They don't like that fence at all, which is good. But now I've got to make them run under it, so. Here goes. Job done. Almost lost them in that. They're literally up to their bellies and more. It's crazy in the last two months how much they've grown. Just because we left them entire, still got their balls. They literally spend all day having sex. The entire day. Eating, fighting, having sex. That's all they do. I keep umming and ahhing. I'm like, oh, next year, perhaps we'll just leave a load entire and do the same again. But they are a pain. Right, it's got to go back now. Get some hurdles. Go and bring some sheep home. I won't show you that because it's a bit dry. And then uh, we'll either catch up tomorrow or tonight when I move the cows. Morning, first job of the day is to get some hay out for these ewes. We got just over 400 ewes on 22 acres and they need to be out here a few more days. And then we're gonna go and catch our cattle, bring them home. The next three days of my life are intense. Intense. Still on the Romenko Max Energy hype. I'm impressed, I am impressed with them. Name a more annoying thing than this stuff. Hate it. Right, sheep fed. We've had something really crap happen. Just had to happen this year, obviously, because it's the year for it. I keep saying this year, because it's like, for me, the season doesn't end until we start lambing again. When I say this year, I mean this farming year for us. I'm gonna do a YouTube on it later in the week, and then I'm gonna show you next weekend, probably, by the time I end up editing it. Yeah, we've had crazy bad luck, but I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna do a YouTube on it, so stay tuned for that, be a good one. Up. Yeah, why have you got to do that, though? You could just eat it like a normal sheep. Right, let's go and get the cows. Come see how cool my cows look. Oh. Open the tailgate as well. 
icebreaker things. Hoping that I will get my five cows and those hurdles on the trailer on the way home, otherwise I'll have to go all the way back with the trailer and then back again, which is a lot of faffing about, which is half the problem with the cows. And then you can't really just grab older one and stick an ear tag in it either, so <sighs> there's just a bit of work really. Do you reckon I can do it with three hurdles? There's five. They're not that big. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do three. It'll be plenty. It'll be absolutely fine. Operation Cow. I'm not sure if you look like a tiny bit lame. Right, so we did plan just pen them where we fodder beat them, but <sighs> there's just so many people here. There, there was loads of people just standing there all gormless, like, mm -hmm. and like some bloke with his dogs running about. So we just come down to this like quiet section. Just gonna put the hurdles there. Hopefully, just catch them and take them home. Piece of cake. Should have bought the fourth hurdle. <laughs> I got what you like. Come on. Come on. Okay. Is he a bit lame? Might have to have a look at his foot when we get back. Don't be awkward, mate. He is lame, isn't he? Oh dear. You get the fodder beats and chuck some more in there, keep them occupied. I'm going to reverse the trailer beautifully onto that. <laughs> Being silly, guys. You're looking really silly right now. There you go. There you go. Look, you got loads of room. Well done. Right, all aboard. Got hurdles in. Tying them tight to the outside. Get these guys home. Then we've got to go electric fence in. Yeah, good. They've got their ear tags, so that's one thing. Ah, we're having a bit of an issue. Trailer's a bit heavy, so we've sunk. Didn't even cross either of our minds. We were just so like intent on not doing it where we planned to because there's just people everywhere. So we done it down here and didn't even think. Ah, oh, now we can't get out. Go on. I haven't got time for this. I mean, it's my own stupidity, but still. All right, we've got to let them off. This, you've got this. <laughs> also, off update, just popped my off and it went all over my face. So uh, stay tuned for that. We stopped in Sainsbury's so I can wash my face. Yeah. So he's got all the gear. Look at her. <sighs> You're so stressful. Do you think I want a blister like that in my eyeball? Nope. Open it in the. Are you opening your eye in the. No, so. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, that for me. Well, did you do it? Yeah. Thanks. Do you want to spray your face with this antibacterial spray? I'm going to be blinded in a minute. Oh my God, does that burn. Wolf Diaries. Wouldn't recommend it. Well, we're back home now. So this is our cattle crush. Cost, uh, I think cost 85 quid, which is a really weird number. Um, <laughs> works, doesn't it? Or well, she don't get tetanus, but other than that, she's a good one. We're just going to put that steer in there now and just see if I can... I don't really know. We haven't really had a lame cow before. So I'm just going to try and have a look at his foot and see if there's anything I can see obvious. Because he's supposed to go market on Tuesday, obviously, and uh, can't go if he's lame. He just looks a little bit lame to us, but perhaps he's not too bad. Perhaps he'd be a bit dramatic. But anyway, so I'm um, just going to get him in there. How do they make so much 
gotcha. Right, so we've got him in there. We think he's a touch lame on this front right. Problem is you can't really get that side of the crash. What I'm gonna try and do is sort of lasso his foot and just hold it up and see if I can see anything. If I can, I can sort of like, well, I don't know. We're gonna try. Let's lift that up, so now, like that. And then we should be able to have a little. I think, I think it's just like sore. I was just checking there's no like black thorns or anything. There's nothing obvious, is there? It's so hot in there. No, but it just looks a bit... Just stay still, mate. I was expecting to find some sort of black fawn or something stupid in the pad here, you know? So mad at me. See what he's like in a couple of days. Put my shoulder through my light. When I was trying to, when we were stuck and I was trying to push it, I put my shoulder straight through it, so. Right, so that's one, two, three, four for Ashford on Tuesday. Uh, I think he's good. And then uh, we're gonna hold this one, because I really like her, we're gonna hold her back as a cow, little breeding cow. Beef price is really good at the moment, so hoping for a nice little paycheck off these. Gonna buy Zoe a little car, hopefully. Personally, I wanna go to the Maldives, but whatevs. Good gate, that. See ya! Right, we are off on the afternoon shift of electric fencing now. To get those cows to market on Tuesday, I'm probably gonna record that. They're the calves that we reared on milk last year that we bought for dairy farm. And we haven't done that this year. And although I really haven't missed the extra work, I think we're gonna really miss the paycheck next summerish, next spring, summertime. So, ah, never mind. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube. Until next time. Oh, I've got some really cool YouTubes coming up, so stay tuned. Oh, and tell your mates and all, bring them along. Why not? Till then.